Hey, what's up? This is Gary from Raz Rentals. Man, being a Ninja Turtle fan in 2021 is just plain awesome. Everywhere you look, all you see is Ninja Turtle stuff. You know, Super 7 has their Ultimates line going strong. NECA is just putting out a lot of really awesome things. They just announced the like their Universal Monsters mixed with Ninja Turtle toys coming out next year. Those look pretty awesome, too. Like, I'm super excited. You know, I almost feel like it's 1989 or 1990 again. It's just, it's nuts nowadays. But what about the, uh, you know, Playmates? You know, Playmates made the original Ninja Turtle toys back in the day. They're the people that pretty much got me hooked on the Ninja Turtles. I probably love the toys more than I love the cartoon and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, what are they up to lately? Well, mostly they've been putting out some reissues. I've been a little, I guess, harsh on Playmates lately. Um, I reviewed their um, their uh, Mirage Ninja Turtle box set, you know. I thought that was kind of crappy. <laughs> I uh, I reviewed their uh, their Movie Star box set. And to me, that was like, you know, a big letdown because they used like the Leo body for all the Ninja Turtles and they, you know, didn't have the right colors. They gave them the weapons, the 1988 figures. Like I was really let down by both of those sets. I also watched the uh, the the review of the like the mutant modular, or the, you know, the the villain six pack on. Uh, I, I watched, uh, I think you pronounce his name, Pocahon. <laughs> I watched his review on those action figures and, uh, you know, when I was watching that, I noticed that there were, like, so many paint apps missing, and it was just, like, what, I, like, I watched it, and I was just thinking, like, what the hell are you doing, Playmates? Like, why are you doing this to yourself? Like, I want to love you so much, but you're just, you're just pushing me away every time. Playmates even has these brand new, like, two-packs, you know, and they're not really brand new because these figures were released, like, almost 10 years ago or something like that. What are the years on these, uh... 2013 and 2012 I believe so and, and like these are even like worse quality than the original ones like the original ones were better quality than this the paint was a lot better so like I don't know what's going on with playmates I don't know if they're just like you know scraping the barrel with this thing you know they're low on money or what what are you guys doing I don't know but I will say this I saw this two pack I bought this those two packs because they're like the Mikey and Bebop two pack because I just wanted to see how it was and then I also saw this on the shelf. And, you know, I got to admit, even though it's another reissue of the Ninja Turtles, I was, like, intrigued, you know? Like, yeah, these came out, they've reissued these, like, you know, probably, like, 30 times already. But I was kind of interested in them because they decided to release the Turtles with soft heads again. I don't know if this is the first re-release with the soft heads, um... But this is the first one, you know, I've ever seen. So I was actually pretty excited about it. Not to mention, the card here looks awesome. And it has the same exact um, uh, pattern. You're like, you know, it's it's the same exact card that came out in the 1988 version. Except, you know, you have a couple new things here like warning choking hazards. Lots of times in their reissues, they've been putting out like... Um, like, they'll have, like, a card, but they'll, like, mix the artwork of all the cards on the one card. But as they put out, like, Donatello here... And Leonardo, like, that is the same exact card, you know? It's an exact, like, duplicate of it. So I thought it was pretty cool when I took a look at it, and I thought, well, you know, this would look pretty cool on my wall. So I think that this reissue, you know, I, I think for me, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I bought a double of Donatello here so that uh, I can open one up. And I can show you, you know, how he compares to the original Turtles from 1988. That way you can, you know, decide whether or not you want to buy these brand new ones or try to save your money and buy some of the old ones. Um, so I will open this one up and I will review it. But I just wanted to say that for me personally, I don't need a set to open up because I already have all the old guys. But to have a set like this that looks pretty close to the old, you know, setup, you know, I would like to have you know, a set of these guys up on my wall. I do have a Donatello from a, a reissue from way back in the day. This is original. I bought this at KB Toy Stores when they were probably like $3 a piece or something like that. But, you know, the, the card art for this, in my opinion, was not as cool as that original card art from 1988. Now, probably because of the way that they print things nowadays, the colors are definitely a lot darker than they used to be. Um, but it just, it looks very cool. And I, like I said, I really like that. So I'm going to try to find Raph and Michelangelo 
One thing I've noticed with these brand new Playmates figures was that this green for the turtles is like so much, I don't know if you'd say brighter or just like kind of, it's like closer to grass green than the like more like olive kind of green from way back when. Like there's the old one. I don't know if you can really even tell. It's more of like a neon green almost. And it's, uh, you know, it's not just like with these sets or with these action figures. I also noticed it with the NECA figures. I don't know if it's like some kind of brand push or what, but if you look at like, um... all right, so here is your uh, Wrath of Krang Turtles logo. Like it's more subdued kind of green, you know. Um, this is how, you know, how it usually looks. But if you look at the brand new NECA figures, like Chrome, Dro <laughs> Chrome Dome, like the green is like getting that bright neon green color. So it seems like it's, you know, across the board that maybe Nickelodeon has told everybody, look, you got to use these colors. Maybe they, you know, have changed things a little bit. But uh, yeah, so that's just kind of interesting. All right. On the back here, you know, everything looks cool. This is pretty much just how I remembered everything looking back in the day on those old cards. I'm sure there's probably some new things on here, like definitely those websites. I don't remember websites being on the cards back in the uh, the 80s, but yeah, it's cool. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't think that card is the right size, though. I mean, it's definitely not like that on the... Uh, the uh, the re-release I have from the, the late 90s. But whatever. It's fine. Like I said, for my... The, for my purposes, I will only buy these Playmates Ninja Turtle toys to uh, hang up on the wall. So, oh my gosh, there's hair. Statically. All right, so I'm going to open one up and I'm going to show you how he looks compared to those original toys from back in the day. All right, so here is the brand new uh, Playmates reissue of Donatello. He's the guy in the middle, I'm sure you probably could tell. Next to the original soft head Donatello and one of the hard head figures of Donatello. Um, now, you see, I'm sure that uh, these guys, like their colors have discolored a little bit over time. Um, they look a little more, like the brown looks like a little more yellow than this brown does. But they're pretty, like, they're pretty close, you know. It's not even something that I really even noticed until you have them next to this guy because he has such a brown color you know that you kind of notice that there's something maybe a little off about these guys but you know maybe it was they were a little similar to that back in the day i can't tell um you know the turtle shell color looks a lot different um one thing that like as soon as i saw pictures like i didn't even have to compare these guys or anything like that um, all of these brand new reissues of these soft head turtles their heads are gigantic you know they look huge um I think like I saw like maybe a, like I saw a picture of Michelangelo and his just looks gigantic. Like I don't even know like what happened there, but it's it's pretty funny. Um, we'll take a, I'll take a closer look with him up against the uh, soft head Donatello in a second. But man, you know, Donatello is like the worst turtle to stand. Here's the backs of all these guys. And, you know, like I think that he's like sort of I think at a distance, this guy looks pretty uh, good. But I think there are some things that, uh, you know, I'm going to point out that I think aren't as good as those original Ninja Turtles. But like I said, as a distance, if you just want to get this guy to put him up on your shelf because you don't have these original Ninja Turtles, he is probably a good, you know, substitute. And, um, you know, for me, like I said, I'm going to I don't even know what I'm going to do with him. I'm probably going to stick him in a box and just kind of keep him there. <laughs> but and then just uh, display the mint on card ones on my wall or something like that. So, uh, yeah. You know, the colors look decent. His shell doesn't look nearly as shiny. You know, he's got more of like a flat finish to his shell. But it is sort of similar to that um, soft-headed Donatello. All right, so let's take a closer look here. All right, so if we take a look at this brand new reissue of Donatello next to the original Donatello from 1988, um, you can see that, like I said, the head is definitely huge compared to this guy. <laughs> um, you know, most of the details are there. It's pretty decent, but it's just not like 100%. Like for whatever reason, some of the shapes have been like lost a little bit. I don't know if it's because it's like everything has kind of been bulb, like kind of like stretched out and become a little bulbous or something. Like you lost this tooth here. 
See how he has three on the bottom there? Same thing with the other side. You lost that tooth there. You can barely see the shape of that tooth there, but it's just not as prominent as this one. Um, yeah. Even like some of the extra wrinkles in the headband are kind of missing. But it looks decent. Like the eyes look pretty good. He doesn't, you know, he has this more open eyed look. Like when they released the hardhead version of Donatello, he's kind of more like squinty or something like that. Like he's glaring at the foot soldiers before he's going to like, you know, hit him in the face with his bow. Um, his body is uh, kind of smaller. Like every piece of his body is probably smaller than the original figure. It's just like slightly. You can just kind of notice it when you're kind of looking at things, um, especially like his arms and his legs. Um, one thing that you can really notice is that if you look at his foot here, that foot is definitely smaller than the uh, the original foot. Um, one thing that I think the original figures did a lot better was just being like flush, you know, like the shoulder joints here and like the elbow joints, they all look good. Like everything is like flat and right on top of each other so that, you know, it doesn't look kind of weird or awkward. Um, <laughs> it's Halloween. People are shooting fireworks. Um, like you see how this forearm is connected into the bicep there. You don't really have much of a space. So that is all pretty good. This brand new Donatello, like, there are some spaces. Like, this arm is not, like, completely flush with that joint there. And the forearm here is, like, super, super loose. Like, all the joints are pretty loose. But this forearm is super, super loose. You can actually pop this forearm in and out pretty easily. Like, he's metalhead or something like that. And when you do have the arm in there, it's like you have a pretty decent size gap here between the bicep and the forearm that is just not there on the original one. Um, but like the details are mostly still like there. They're just maybe a little softer or something like that. Like you have the veins in the arms. You Ninja Turtles got to have veiny arms. Um, there's like this little tiny notch or like, it's not a notch, but it's like a little, like it's like a little circle that sticks out by the wristband. You have that on the original one and this brand new one. Um, I don't know. It's it's okay. I think that it's a good substitute if you're looking to have complete Ninja Turtles for cheap. Um, you know, the colors of the front of the shell are not... They don't match. Although the backs of the shells, they look pretty similar. They're closer, except this one is more of a flat paint. Um... The belt here is very soft and, you know, Donatello had a crappy belt to begin with because, you know, every time I find one of these, like, e either both of them are broken off or one of them's broken off. So, like, be careful with this when you're putting your bow in and out of there. Um, the legs actually move pretty good. You know, they, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact system, but you had just have more of a gap so you can actually see what's going on in there. Um, it's got a giant peg hole on the bottom of his foot. I mean, that's huge compared to the original one. And he's just like lighter than this original one. Like he just feels pretty light. This guy, you know, they're kind of, I don't know, maybe because there's more plastic in his arms and his legs and he's just slightly bigger. But then this head is like, you know, this is completely solid. This is not hollow or anything like that. Like the original heads, you can squeeze them. You can squeeze them pretty good, just like a He-Man figure. But this head, you cannot squeeze this head at all. This is completely solid. Um, but yeah, you know, if you want a... Um, if you just want to have complete Ninja Turtles on your shelves and you don't want to spend, like, what? how much do they cost nowadays? Like, $30 to $40 a piece to have, like, a Donatello complete from 1988. I don't even know. It's been a while since I looked. Um... You know, you just go to Walmart, and if you can find these guys for 15 bucks a piece, just pick them up, put them on your shelf, and, you know, you'll be happy. And, uh, you know, you'll forget my video. And <laughs> you won't notice all the, the things I'm pointing out here that uh, just could be a little bit better. The color of the weapons are just a little different. You know, these one, these are more like, um, you know, washed out or something like that. They're not as bright as these original ones. He holds the bow really well, you know, no problems with that, which is really good. Um, yeah, everything, you know, it, it looks decent. This uh, weapons rack, 
you know, it feels pretty sturdy, which is good. It doesn't feel like these things are going to pop off. All the weapons on the weapons rack and the bow, which I was just taking a look at, you know, they're all pretty much the exact same size. It doesn't seem like anything has been shrunk or enlarged or anything like that. It looks like they're all pretty similar. Um, what's pretty cool is that the, uh, the Ninja Stars they included on the, you know, the brand new versions are the pointed Ninja Stars. I always hated when they gave you these uh, later Ninja Stars that were like soft. I gotta want that. I want ones that look dangerous, you know? Um, but yeah, everything else looks pretty good. The fist daggers look good and the comma looks good. After all that said and done, you know, I do think that Playmates did a decent job with these reissues. I mean, sort of. I mean, the joints are pretty, you know, loose and stuff like that. But I'm sure that most of you people buying them are probably not buying them for kids. You're probably buying them because you used to have the Ninja Turtle toys back in the day and you want them again and you don't want to have to pay an arm and a leg to buy, you know, the 1988 ones complete. Um, so, like, these are good just to substitute those. Although, you know, when I look at Leonardo here, I don't think his eyes look nearly as good as, like, an original Leonardo head. Um, there's something about the eyes. They just did not paint them that, as good as Donatello's here. So, like I said, if you want to open these guys up and have them on your shelf, he'll look good on there. Um, I do think, you know, for me, you're, you, like, I'm sort of getting to a point where, like, I didn't really want to start collecting a bunch of stuff mint on card. Like, I used to have a ton of mint on card stuff, and I sold a bunch of it. Just because, you know, after a while, like, you only have so much wall space, and then you start to uh, pack everything away, and then... You, <laughs> Like, for me, it was like years went by, and I opened up, you know, containers, and I'd be like, I can't believe I haven't pulled any of this stuff out in, you know, three years. Like, so what's the point of having it, you know? But I probably will have the wall space to put these guys up, so I'll do it. I also kind of feel you're, like, getting to a point, too, where you're, like, paying $15 to essentially just have, like, you know, the card art. You know, the card art on these guys is amazing. Like, at this point, I would rather, like, Playmates put out a book, you know, that had, like, all the cool card art inside of it. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Just having one book where, like, it just goes with all the, the characters in order and all the vehicles and stuff like that. That way you can look at all the different things. Um, you know, like, Masters of the Universe does such an amazing job with their, like, um, you know, how they reproduce like all those mini comics and stuff like that and like the dark horse comics i wish they would do stuff like that with ninja turtles like give me all the card art in one book a coffee table book just so i can look at it because i like i love that i also kind of think that it would just be great if playmates would make brand new characters for that original 1988 line you know stop milking these things you know thousands and thousands of times just make me some new characters that fit in with my 88 turtles some new mutants Give me some new animals. Give me a skunk mutant or something. Or, like, you know, use your imagination. Give me some kind of octopus mutant. That'd be amazing. Then we can cross over into complete battle beast territory or something. Um, but, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And talk to you later.